10 park problems. Visitors heading down to Mud Island River Park to see that new Memphis sign say they were appalled. Except for the new sign, the park was in disrepair and slimy water made it a not so fun experience. People are talking about it on social media. Local 24 News reporter Rebecca Butcher went looking for answers and that's new at 10. Courtney Lawler wanted a photo by the Instaworthy Memphis sign on Mud Island and found large accumulations of algae. By the time we got down here to the Gulf area, just saw that it was just terrible. The circles in the Gulf where the like little water pools had collected, there was just thick slime and scum and mold and just just gross. Build up like this isn't what visitors want to see. Memphis River Park says that they clean this area monthly or bi-weekly depending on if it gets nasty. Mud Island is open seven days a week, which means when maintenance happens, visitors are in sight. We keep it open all the time. Obviously, it's not ideal if someone turns up and looks a bit like this, but it's yeah. a necessary part of uh, keeping it clean. George Abbott with Memphis River Park says typically four employees work per day. More on busier days. Memphis River Parks has a maintenance team of about 35 shared with the park's partnership. Lawler thinks even more are necessary. I mean, with that few people here at all times, no wonder it looks the way that it looks. We were told Sunday the water was drained, and while we were there, crews were cleaning the area with water pressure hoses for most of the day. Other issues, the out-of-service monorail, which Abbott says is too expensive to fix. That's part of why we've tried to make access easier with bike share, with the, uh, with the parking lot. Memphis River Parks is currently focused on the new redesign plans for Tom Lee Park. No word on any redesign for Mud Island Park. At Mud Island, Rebecca Butcher, Local 24 News.